You know what? Why don't I just punk this stuff in the garbage can? But I'm thinking, I'm thinking from now on, when I go metal, not metal, not metal, metal, I'm thinking I'm gonna take buckets of small steel parts. Cause them buckets full like of screws and all that stuff weighs about 25 or 30 pounds. Not a whole lot of money, but nonetheless, money. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do from here on out. The big stuff I'll have to give to a scrapper because I ain't gonna I ain't gonna, now a lot of this stuff I'm gonna have to dig a hole and bury. I can't, let's see, that'll go in there. I'm even gonna start saving these things that comes out of CRT TV's tubes and scrapping them right down to the nitty gritty. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's a room. I don't know. But once I go through all this, I'm picking out. I mean, there's going to be some people think you're really wasting valuable time, Darber. But I got time till I die. And ain't no need of me worrying about it. And besides that, when you do die, you ain't going to worry about it no way, because you ain't going to know it. You ain't going to know it. At least I hope I don't know it. Metal, metal. That's ferrite, actually, but it still counts as metal. That's metal. Is that lead? No, that's some kind of steel. Yeah, I'm gonna start saving all this. I'm slowly getting there, folks. It still, it don't look like it, but tomorrow evening, this place is gonna be clean as a whistle. I hope. Cause another thing, the landlord wants me to clean it up. She ain't seen it. But she told my daughter, if Russell, if your dad's got a mess out there, he needs to clean it up. She said that. That's aluminum. And so, from here on out, when I bring something in, if I got time when I bring it in, I'm going to uh, process it right then i ain't gonna throw no more cans on the ground no you know i go around the neighborhood picking up other people's trash and then come in here and look at this that don't make sense so i'm gonna get in the habit of doing that too my second cup of coffee uh, I'm fixing to change lifestyle. I'm fixing to start getting my walker and hitting that street for half a half a mile. I'm gonna try. I hope I'm gonna try to get my legs back in shape. You know, I had a. By the way, I'm over 700 subscribers now. Boy, I was. And I'm starting to figure out something, folks. I mean, the Americans is 
great. Majority of my subscribers are Americans. But I am getting a whole lot of Filipinos. And most of them are ladies. Oh, I think that's metal. And they tend to flock together, you know, on their channels. And I found that I, if I get in there and carry on some conversation with them, next thing I know, I get one or two subscribers from them. And I would love to learn how to speak that language. Oh, uh, I forget what they call it. It's not, it's not Spanish. You know, they had, they had colonial rules. You know, we, we got that from the Spanish, the Spanish American war or whatever you call it. That's when we got the Philippines and, and, uh, uh, Guam and, uh, uh, Puerto Rico. Um, that's when we got all that territory when we kicked Spanish butt. And actually, I don't know why in the world when we went, when we had that war in Cuba, I can't remember exact history, and we had Cuba and instead of keeping it and making it a territory we give it we give it up we should have never gave that up it should have become a state and then we never had all that cuban missile crisis and all that stuff that we had and i'll tell you something else uh, Dwight Eisenhower, when I first went in the military, Dwight Eisenhower was my commander-in-chief, and I respected Eisenhower for a lot of different things. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what. It's, it's his fault. You can put the, all the blame on Eisenhower for Cuba becoming a Soviet uh, ally and all that stuff. Because Castro wanted to meet with him and Eisenhower snubbed him. Big mistake. He snubbed him. And that's how all that crap got started. Right there, he snubbed Castro. And then the next thing you know, when Kennedy got in, look what we had. All that missile stuff and missile Cuban crisis and... Uh, and I would, I would say that you could go back and look at every president that we've had, starting from George Washington. If you want to dig into it and really research everything, uh, you would find out that every president we've had has made mistakes of one form or another. You sure would. Uh, even Abraham Lincoln. Um, I, I'm not going to get into all the politics, all that stuff, but I'm telling you, Abraham Lincoln made mistakes, Washington made mistakes, Kennedy made mistakes. Biggest mistake Kennedy made was going to Dallas that day in November of 1963. I ain't, I'll never forget that day. Never forget it. And, I mean, look at some of the presidents. They, they're, a lot of them have been, they get by with stuff, you know. Uh, Kennedy did. He was screwing around on his wife. 
Oh. Uh, Teddy Kennedy. He abandoned that poor girl in that damn water. She was still alive. That's been proven, but the Kennedys covered it up. And John Kennedy's dad, Joe Kennedy, that sucker was as crooked as a dog's leg. He made his fortune in insider trading and stuff on the stock market. He surely did. It's all right there. Nixon. Look what Nixon did. It was the cover-up stuff that got Nixon. He didn't have nothing to do with the break-in, but he sure tried to cover it up deleted some tapes and all that stuff and instead of fessing up and it cost him the president he had to resign and then there's bill clinton slick willie He should have resigned the presidency when all that crap come out about him and Lewinsky. But Nixon loses the presidency on something like he did. And then Bill Clinton comes along and lies through his teeth about he never had relations with that woman. He called her. Lying through his teeth. And then he come out when he got caught and they found the found his sperm on her dress. <laughs> they want to call it DNA. I'll call it what it is. It's DNA, all right. It's sperm. And uh they called him and then he says how he explains it away, he said uh well, it depends on what you mean by what the word meaning of the word is, is. I mean, what kind of stupid... I mean, guys... I... I don't know. I always thought everything was on the up and up with our government and, and we was the best and we never made mistakes and all that and then in later years i find out there's all kind of state look what we did in vietnam we had no business over there whatsoever and that started we wasn't directly involved in the 50s but we sure got involved and that that was and i got friends it's laying up there in North Carolina in the grave now that lost their lives over there. And for what? They had us fighting a war that we we was not allowed to win it. You could have cleaned that place as plow. But no, sir. No, sir. Uh, but Clinton, ah, wow. And his wife. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I probably got heavily supporters and subscribers. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's... There was a lot of shenanigans going on during all that in 2016. And uh, Obama, I hadn't touched on Obama. Everybody assumed that I would support Obama just because my my family's interracial. I'm I'm not. I reckon I'm pure white. I don't know. I I don't know what went on 150 years ago. I know some of my family had slaves, 
So who knows what's going on? I don't know. But people assume that because I had three grandsons that's half black that I'm going to support Obama. Well, I didn't support Obama. And if they'd have found somebody better than John McCain to run against him, Obama wouldn't have been president. I don't think. I may be wrong. I don't know. Uh, there's too much smoke around Obama for me to even trust him. And our current president, Donald Trump. Look at all the mistakes he made. Look at all, I mean, that deal about what he was saying about grabbing women by their you know what and laughing about it you know I know a president can't be perfect if he lives a normal life but there's just some things that's just just vulgar and nasty and they get away with it and I got a prediction I want to make too and and a lot of you are going to disagree with this, and a lot of you are going to say, Lord, I hope not, and all this stuff. Uh, but Donald Trump is president. And he is my president. He is your president. No matter what you say, if you're an American citizen, uh, he's your president. And but my prediction is this he's going to win in 2020 and he's going to do the next four years. And then after that four years, I expect I'm thinking that there's a good possibility the president after Donald Trump is going to be. Don Trump Jr. I'm thinking there's going to be a Trump dynasty there. Like there was with the Bushes. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Let me put it that way. I don't know that to be a fact, but I got a sneaking idea. Now, he says he's, he's concentrating on here and now and all that, but you know what? Um... You can look out for it, because that, that, that's my prediction. I hope I'm alive to see it, folks. I really do. And I have voted in every election. I have voted in every election since 19... Let's see. 19... Looking for more in 64, 1968. That's when I voted for the first time. And the reason I could remember that, I remember the slogan on that when the elections was coming up on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, for 1964. The slogan was, looking for more in 64. Yep. Now, it looks like the rest of this is garbage. I was saving all these. I don't know if there's such a thing as these things being valuable or not. I don't know. That's why I got them here. And I may just, you know what? I'm going to separate them things out too while I'm at it. Let me get me another uh, container. <laughs> Look, my floor in here, I can walk on it without stumbling over stuff. 
So, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get two of them. And by the way, these trays that you see here, that all come from curbside. All these trays in here, them down to there, all these trays I got in here come from curbside. I had a couple of hundred of them and I sold some. I sold some. All right, I'm gonna put them big ones in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, cause there's lots of things that has value nowadays that didn't have value two or three years ago, five years ago. A lot of them. I gotta sit in. I swear I wish I could stand. I can stand for a while if, if uh, I got my walker. I'm going to put them in there, and them in there, that's going in there, that's going in there, that's garbage, that's going in there. Saving all these little plugs, you know. Some of that stuff is um, tin plated, tin plated brass. to get this cleaned off right quick because I need to get them TVs took apart because I'm going to try to get our junk man and all that stuff off. Garbage. 